Alrighty here, thanks for joining us today guys. We're going over the 2022 Ibex 19 QBS here today. Going to be half ton towable coming in here at 3,774 pounds dry. Um, Exterior length about 23 feet. I'm um, also going to have a width of 7 feet 4 inches. Very popular with the boondocking people. You're going to have a uh, solar panel come standard 15k air off road package. A big queen bed up there up front that's permanent. Also going to be able to lift up with a bunch of storage underneath it. And you will have a dinette there on a slide. So we're going to be able to see how much uh, room there inside that camper that that slide opens up. Thanks for joining us here today, guys. My name's Nathan Anderson. I'll be showing you over the brand new. 2022 Ibex 19 QBS. Uh, stick with us here. I'll give you a full rundown here on this unit. Starting at the, the tongue of the trailer here, you're going to notice you have a power tongue jack. So you no know more cranking the unit. Press a button up and down, um, lowered onto your tow vehicle. Also, going to have a 20 pound propane tank in there too. Plenty good size for a long extended period time of camping. Also, over there in that red box, that will be a battery disconnect. So you guys can shut that off. You don't have to worry about something draining the power. Step around here to the side of the trailer. You guys are going to notice a full pass-through storage. That goes through the whole entire length of the, the camper there. Um, the exterior bush kitchen, grill, firewood, whatever you guys want to store in there. Pick and knee rail, bush kitchen, like I just mentioned previously, that flat top cooking surface will install in there and you guys will have a prep surface and then you have an LP quick neck right underneath there to attach the grill. Maybe you have a, another grill that you bought and you can buy an adapter and plug right in there on your propane. Over here, you will notice metal lines, um, wheel fender liners, not like the plastic on most trailers this size. When you get a blowout, you don't have to worry about it blowing all of your wheel liner out. It is metal, so it'll take a lot of that hit there. Off-road, aggressive tires there. If you guys are gonna be boondocking, kind of going in a weird environment, uh, off-road a little bit. Two-inch axle lift too for a little bit more ground clearance depending upon where you go. This is gonna be your guys' exterior spray port. Uh, hose is gonna connect to that. You guys can spray out big pots and pans that don't fit in the sink. Maybe spray off a pet there. This is also gonna be a 110 outlet plug-in underneath here. Any exterior accessories, uh, outdoor TV, something like that. Walk around here, guys. You will notice you guys have the full um, stairs touch the ground. That way you're kind of not wobbling on them when you walk in. They fold in super nice, and they stay just like that for travel on the unit. On the back of the camper, you guys will have a, a spare tire, super nice. A lot of campers this size and in this price point actually don't come with a spare tire unless you order it separate from the manufacturer. Big bumper on the rear, soak up a lot of impact there if you guys do get rear-ended. And it'll also have storage for your guys' sewer hose. Shove that in there. A lot of units, especially nowadays, kind of rare to see a ladder already installed in the back, believe it or not. Super easy access to get on the top of there, make sure nothing didn't fall on the, anything on the slide. Um, service your guys' AC units. Uh, over here on this side of the camper, that's going to be your guys' black tank flush. That's a female connection for a garden hose. Hook that in there. It's going to spray out all the black tank. Gets rid of the scent a lot easier. You don't have to worry about buying like a tank blaster or anything like that. Plug in, cable, uh, cable and satellite inlet there for your guys' TV system. Walk down here a little bit. Another pass-through storage door, something in there slides. You guys can open this one up and grab it. That way you're not climbing in there. Also going to have your fresh water connection and your city water connection. All righty here. Thanks for staying with us here, guys. Going to go over the interior on the 19 QBS. Walking over here on the side, you kind of notice you guys do have a bunch of overhead storage. And that goes all the way across there. You can reach back there without opening the door and grab something out of it. Immediately go down to the uh, sofa here. That's going to fold into a jackknife style. So it's going to fold completely flat. Two, two spots for uh, maybe two adults possibly. Maybe two children. Uh, one big adult. Cup holders do also remove very easily. That way it will fold flat. And they just shove right back into there. 
Um, this table, this legs fold flat. It can go through your guys' pass-through storage and store in there. You guys can also move this table outside and use it if you guys for you know prep surface, anything on the exterior of the camper. And walking up here to the bed, again, Ibex is not shy on putting a bunch of overhead storage on this unit. Again, you guys can reach behind there, grab stuff out behind the door without opening it. Automatically, again, flat storage, CPAP storage, his and hers nightstands, very, very deep storage. It goes all the way to the uh, nose of the trailer there, along with a full-size queen bed. And I will show you guys the super storage Ibex puts in here. A lot of times you see about half that size on a unit this small, so that's why we would call it a super storage. What else we got here? Um, first things first, I will hit on all the storage over here, just pointing that out. Spots for you know DVD players, Blu-ray players, whatever you guys use nowadays. And I will not forget the 12-volt TV. That will run off your battery power. If you guys are boondocking and not hooked up to shoreline power, that solar panel that comes standard on the roof of this unit will power that TV. So, bunch of deep storage in here. This is one of Ibex's cool little lock boxes, safe boxes they put in there if you guys are at kind of a nervous camp campground, so to say. Again, full overhead storage, complete with working range. We'll have the exhaust fan on there and you will have your light. Two burner cooktop, this folds back just like that, acts as a backsplash, makes it a lot easier to clean instead of worrying about cleaning the blinds. Big, deep, bull farmhouse style kind of sink there. That's the black stainless, and your guys' spout will completely drop down there, spray out pots, pans, whatever you guys want to do. That's going to be a little spice rack. That's one of the 2022 changes they did there. That band helps keep everything in storage there while you guys are traveling. That will also be your convection microwave. The unit does not come with an oven. This does everything the oven will without using propane. If you're boondocking, that's important to have. Central vac unit, guys, that will be a standard on the Ibex. Lift this up here with your foot. I won't do it extremely loud, but you guys sweep all of your messes into there and you guys can remove that unit and dump out. All right, you're back here to the back of the unit here, guys. This is gonna be your stainless steel 12 volt fridge. That's 11 cubic foot, so it's about three cubic foot bigger compared to the propane fridge. 12 volt, so your guys' solar panel will power it when you're not plugged into shore power. And then when you guys are traveling, your tow vehicle is powering up your batteries of the camper. Fridge is pulling off that, so you guys are keeping stuff cold and frozen while you guys are traveling. Just real quick here, we'll show you guys how deep that storage is without having the propane fins in there. Um, tons and tons of storage for a unit this size. Freezers, big, deep. Extended stays, we'll have plenty of room for it. All right here guys, now to the bathroom here um, of this coach. Traditional foot flush style toilet, very good location. Your feet aren't gonna be hanging out of the doorway. Right above that is going to be all of your guys' controls. Press button, see tank levels, turn on tank heated pads there if you're in cold conditions, solar control, everything like that will be in a centralized location. Right above that, you guys will have a max air vent fan that comes standard, moves a lot of air in a camper this size if you guys aren't running the AC or furnace. Right to the skylight over the tub, a lot more headspace there for the taller guys. And one thing I will point out here real quick, you guys will have a glass shower enclosure and your aqua view shower miser will already be installed to help kind of save on your guys' fresh water. Also over here to the medicine cabinet sink area, uh, medicine cabinet does open up a lot of deep storage there in the back of it for a unit this size. Storage underneath it. Um, also below that, your guys' sink will be right there. Um, plenty of storage again underneath it. Very easy to access the plumbing aspects of the sink to work on it. Um, anything like that, very easy to access. Alrighty here guys, thanks for sticking with me here today. Again, my name is Nathan Anderson. I uh, do have a team over here, so I have two sale partners that work on my sales team. We can be reached at Team Anderson 937-649-5823 and we'll get you taken care of.